All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So week 13 is officially in the books. Unfortunately, the Jets did drop uh, yesterday's game against the Minnesota Vikings 27 to 22. Look, it was a crazy game. It was back and forth. And uh, you can make the argument that if the Jets just fixed a couple mistakes, right? You make that throw. You don't drop that pass. They don't have, you know, a couple of bad flags called against them then the Jets could have actually won that football game in Minnesota, going up against a 9-win, now 10-win football team. Um, yes, the Jets lost, but I gotta say, overall, I was impressed with how the team battled back uh, in the second half after a pretty lifeless first half. Um, so with that said, I wanted to take a look at the AFC East, the AFC as a whole, and really talk about the latest uh, updated playoff picture as we stand right now. So first things first, let's cover the games. The Buffalo Bills did defeat the New England Patriots on Thursday Night Football 24-10. to The Minnesota Vikings, again, unfortunately beat the Jets 27-22. to The 49ers defeated the Miami Dolphins 33-17. to I did, I, I was thinking that the Dolphins were going to come back at the end, but San Fran just pulled away. Philadelphia beat the Tennessee Titans 35-10. to The Cincinnati Bengals beat the Kansas City Chiefs 27-24. Ravens beat the Broncos 10-9. And then the Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders, defeated the LA Chargers 27-20. That game was huge for playoff implications, but we're going to get into that. Okay, now let's shift and talk about the AFC East. In first place, we got the Buffalo Bills at 9-3. Next week, they're going to be at home taking on the Jets. Second place, Miami Dolphins, 8-4. Next week, at the LA Chargers. That game is super, super interesting, and we're going to actually talk about that uh, at the end here. Jets in third place, 7-5, so still two games above 500 at the Buffalo Bills. Fourth place, New England Patriots sitting right even at 500, 6-6 six and six at the Arizona Cardinals on Monday night. We transition to the updated playoff picture after 13 weeks. The Chiefs are still in first place at 9-3. Buffalo Bills in second, nine and three. The Ravens in third, eight and four. The Tennessee Titans have the fourth seed right now at seven and five, despite the huge loss to to uh, to Philly. In the fifth spot, we have the Cincinnati Bengals at eight and four, huge win over the Chiefs. Miami Dolphins sixth seed at eight and four, and then the New York Jets right now seventh seed, last spot in the playoffs at seven and five. And then in the hunt, we got the uh, LA Chargers at six and five, and then the New England. Patriots Patriots at six and six. So big picture, this is really, really good news for the Jets moving forward because they're sitting here right now with seven wins and they are in the playoffs and they have that game ahead of New England. They have that game ahead of the Chargers. If they just go out there and again, hypothetically handle business every single Sunday, it doesn't matter what the Chargers and the Patriots do. Both of those teams can win out. If the Jets win out as well, they're in. Again, hypothetically speaking here because losses do happen. Now, with that said, if the Jets go out there and beat the Bills this Sunday, we're safe, right? We're still, it, again, it doesn't matter what the Chargers do. They can win by 50. Patriots can win Monday night against the Cardinals. The Jets are in. If, if, we, can, if we beat Buffalo, we're safe another week. And, and we're really pushing, uh, we're, we're kicking it down the road another week, essentially shortening the time that New England and the Chargers have to catch up to the Jets, if that makes sense. In the event that the Jets lose, to the Buffalo Bills. Let's be honest, the Buffalo Bills are a great team. We're playing in their house. They're really picking up steam as of late. Um, we have to explore the playoff picture then. Assuming the Jets were to lose, what games do we need? Uh, what, what do we need to happen? First off, we need the Patriots to lose Monday night against the Arizona Cardinals. That is a must, right? If the Cardinals can beat the Patriots, uh, essentially putting them below 500, that'll be huge in the overall grand scheme of things. But here's where things get a little tricky. If the Miami Dolphins beat the Chargers, that helps the Jets in the wild card, but hurts the Jets in the divisional race. If you're gunning for the top, the, the AFC East crown right now, you probably want the Chargers to beat the Dolphins, obviously. But if you're just having the mindset of, hey, I want to make the playoffs, I want to get into the playoffs, I want to be playing meaningful football mid to late January here, I just want in, wild card, I don't care, then we need the Dolphins, unfortunately, to beat the Chargers. 
because the again the Patriots and the Chargers those are the two teams in the hunt right now so a little confusing but if the Cardinals can handle business um and I, I guess you could kind of look at that Dolphins game as almost a win-win um but it's it's interesting kind of uh, the two different perspectives on it but that's currently where the Jets stand last spot seventh seed in the playoffs but we're safe for now we're safe for now. We kind of control our own future, assuming the Jets were to go out there and handle business every single Sunday. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.